whilst the weather's Baltic and we've had quite a lot of snow in London, maybe about seven inches. I've been doing a bit of predator fishing lately and even they've slowed up a little bit. So I've come to an old stream that I've fished growing up and I'm gonna do something a bit different, a bit of stickleback fishing. They tend to feed all year round. So whilst the snow's here and it makes a beautiful day, I'm gonna give them a go. And uh, fingers crossed, might catch them um, a couple of sticklebacks and there's a few big ones in here as well so you never know might surprise myself and catch a specimen in the snow well to catch these little sticklebacks you have to fish really delicate I'm using a extremely light whip one pound line a size 22 hook and a very small 0.2 dibber float and yeah, everything's, everything's balanced perfectly to uh, catch sticklebacks. Oh. There we go. It's not a bad size one. But I know there's much bigger than this in here. And some real specimens. Although he's not bad. Number two, around the same size as the one before. Oh, that's a bit better. What's that? No way. It's a stickleback. A giant one at that. <laughs> He's a monster. In miniature. <laughs> With sticklebacks being micro predators and they feed on a lot of live little living organisms I'm actually using not ground bait but a little bit of soil and uh, I'm mixing in just a little defrosted cube of blood worm that I got from the aquarium shop and uh, just applying that as my loose feed and a little blood worm on the hook. Another little one. He's probably the smallest so far. Such a cool little species. Really aggressive at times. They're actually related to seahorses as well, would you believe? Yeah, just incredible, really. <laughs> the way he just whizzed around. A productive morning stickleback fishing. Caught four or five this morning. And an absolute beast as well.